Hey everyone, how you doing? It's me Tim. You'll be reading Me and Dog by Gene Wine Garten. This is me. My name is Sid. I'm just an ordinary kid. I make mistakes. They're mostly small, except when you're not at all. This is Murphy. He's my pet. He's the world's best dog, I bet. But just between us, me and you, Murphy's ordinary too. Murphy's pretty smart, but he thinks a bit too much of me. To him, I'm not a short grade schooler. I'm supreme, almighty ruler, super duper. Boss and King. Of absolutely everything. So yesterday, while getting mail, oops, I stepped on Murphy's tail. He yelped, then blinked his big brown eyes, and I started to apologize. Murphy thinks when things go bad, he must have somehow made me mad. Happy things get understood as his reward for being good. It isn't true. The world is large and I'm a kid. I'm not a charge. You must be tall to ride to be to ride this ride. I sometimes think there is no boss. That almost things happen just because. Murphy though does not agree. He sits around and worships me. He thinks that if he begs enough, I will give him lots of stuff. Bits of beef and chunk of cheese. Things to chase and things to squeeze. Thanks to hunk and thanks to shove and things that only dogs could love. It's silly how he prays and pleads since I give Murphy all he needs. Because he doesn't want me mad, Murphy tries not be bad. And he isn't, I admit, except for when he is a bit.
I wonder if he'd be as good as Murphy ever understood. That I'm not the Lord and King of absolutely everything. I wonder if he might be fearful or less friendly or less cheerful if he knew I'm not the whiz and maybe even no one is. So let's not tell him I'm just Sid. A very ordinary kid. It seems to work out perfectly. Because I love him. And he loves me. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed me reading Me and Dog. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.